So what I'm going to do today is show you how to get a tachometer for a fairly uh, low price if you have a 1996 and newer car. And many cars don't come with tachometers and that's the RPM gauge. And especially if it's a base model, it may not come with one and it's not something unusual. Uh, Millions of people have taught themselves how to drive without a tachometer. You don't need it. But of course, it's very helpful when learning um, starts from a stop. This car is a automatic Honda Civic. It doesn't have a tachometer. But 1996 and newer cars come with a OBD2 computer. And this computer, if you ever have an engine light uh, come on or something's going on with your uh, engine, you take your car to the mechanic. They will go under your dash, plug in a scanner, and it will have a display. On that display, they can read out everything about your engine, what is going on with it, any problems with the sensors and anything like that. They can also read in real time RPM information. So even though you don't have a tachometer on your dashboard, um, they can see it on their scanner. So what you can do nowadays is you can buy one of these. This costs $10 from China with free shipping and it is basically a transmitter and it transmit transmits all the information from your computer that it your whatever your engine is doing and it'll transmit it through Bluetooth to a laptop or a smartphone you download a free app onto your smartphone and uh, you open the app and it will show you all the details about your engine including RPM information. So I have this here. I'm going to show you how to install it. You don't got to be technical at all. It is so easy to do. So let us do this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is turn on the flashlight just so you can see okay so there is a plug under your dashboard there is a plug under your dashboard uh, somewhere okay so right there Hope you can see that. Then you take your Elm 327. You push it in. And it's connected. That is it. So, now I'm going to come out from under the dash. Okay, we'll turn off the light and go to the app. This is a gnarly phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy S2 from uh, 2010. And it's kind of uh, not that great shape anymore. So what I need to do is go to the Bluetooth. Make sure it's on. Bluetooth is on. Okay. Now we'll go to the app. The app is free. It's called Torque Light. Right there, Torque. Okay, press OK. All right, so move display. All right, so let's turn on the car. Okay. 
So that is real-time RPM information from your uh, from this Honda Civic. So we can take this. There's no cables connected to this phone. Wire it's bl through Bluetooth. I can put it on the dashboard. And now I have RPM information if I wanted to do learn uh, starts from a stop. So now this is really only uh, this particular transmitter and app is really only for OBD2 cars. You would have to do more research if you had an OBD1 car. I'm not really sure about those. Um, but very easy to install free app um, a reasonable price and uh, really no use to not try this it may take a couple of uh, weeks to ship and get to you but um, very easy to use what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it in the manual car my car and uh, we'll take it for a ride and see how accurate it is
so I think it's pretty clear this is pretty accurate and if your car is compatible and you don't have an RPM gauge this is like a cheap option to try and uh, it will really save your clutch from uh, trial and error stops and starts uh, where you smoke up your clutch and uh, do a bunch of burnouts so uh, it's just an option again you don't have to but uh, it's always good to have that option anyways thanks for watching